fifth in the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint. And good night, Olive had a great start from the inside. She's going to go immediately to the early lead. Society and Ugiria right up alongside with Ida. And our Rad Ortiz Jr. will take good night, Olive, back to fourth. But she flew out of the gate. After that comes Matarea as they continue up the back stretch. Make a yell, the Japanese horses on the far outside. And then comes clearly unhinged, three witches, and well behind is leap running Kirsten Botch, the trailer. 22.29 was that opening quarter mile. Ida and Society locked in battle. They're in neck apart. Good night, Olive. His third just two lengths off of them with Yukiri to the outside of her. It's another two and a half to a ground saving running. Clearly unhinged, who's five lengths off the lead. Midrow. Meanwhile, good night, Olive has been extricated from the rail, and there she goes on the far outside right now. And good night, Olive has taken the lead from society as they arrive at the top of the stretch. Ida's third of the inside, you carrying its fourth, then clearly unhinged and three witches. They're into the stretch, and Errod Ortiz Jr. says, Let's go to good night, Olive. And they are opening up with every stride. Yukiri has moved up into second on the outside, running a big win at a good price, but there's no doubt about the winner. Good night, Olive is a champion again. Yukiri was second, three witches was third, then Society and a photo with Kirsten Bosch, 122.97 seconds. She did it again, the champion from this race last year. If this is her final race of her career, she goes out of Breeders' Cup champion once again. She does. She did it a little differently than normal. Usually she's further back, and Brad Ortiz Jr., her jockey, chose to lay her closer, move a little earlier. He saw an opening in the middle of the turn to get out. He took it. She made the lead at the top of the stretch, but then had enough to hold off the closure. Just far and away the best horse.